in to the online broadcast network. After Buzz TV, over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind-the-scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Let's go. Hey. <laughs> How you, you guys get hyped when you hear that song, all right? How you guys doing out there? I'm excited. <laughs> We're getting hyped in here at we After are. Buzz TV. Thank you to Steven who picked this. Uh, Rocky song that is going to get us amped up for this show. <laughs> and, you know, we seen a lot today. You know, this was the end zone because this is the end. This is the last official Biggest Loser episode 17. What is it? Season 16. And next week is the finale. I'm your host, Fallon Mercedes for the official after show on After Buzz TV for The Biggest Loser. And I have my beautiful co host. Yes, Morgan. Martin. I, I'm excited. The music's getting me pumped. Yeah, no, it was good. It was it was good to reflect on the whole season. And wow, did we come so far. We were looking back at all the, you know, they did the flashbacks from the first episode to the audition tapes. Yeah. And wow, like. I know when you lose weight, you kind of forget what you look mm -hmm. like, but wow, those befores till now are amazing. I yeah. cannot wait to see what they're going to look like at the finale, especially for those who are at home <laughs> who are trying to win the biggest um, loser winner at home, which is like, I think, a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, or something and crazy I think like what's that. and I think what's so cool is about is like I mean, especially a lot of people that are on weight loss journeys, you know, in regular life more or less. You of course, you know, you can look back at pictures and things like that. But I mean, they really got to really watch their progression of like their training, their videos, like actually seeing the things that they go through. So it was really. Um, I don't know. It was kind of nice just to see them kind of reflect in the the response on their face, really mm -hmm. see, looking back at their old their old selves. Yeah. Let's reflect on some of our viewers out there who have been commenting on yes, YouTube. Thank Shout you out guys. to all you guys who actually watch us, who respond to us, who actually are real like huge fans yeah. of the show. And it was it was interesting to see. I feel like you know we're on the same page, even though you guys are not here with us. I feel <laughs> like you guys feel us. Yeah. Um, it was funny. I know. I think uh, Tatiana won. Yeah. Um, she was saying how, you know, the biggest loser, she hopes Comeback Canyon does not come back next season because she feels like it's unfair, which we have kind of been saying because, I mean, look at today's episode. Yeah. Woody won all of Comeback Canyon and... It was only one comeback that he won mm -hmm. after he got voted off, and now he didn't even make it yeah. as a finalist. Yeah. So it's kind of not it's, fair. Because I think it's the timing of it. It's mm -hmm. like it depends on exactly who you're up against. It doesn't necessarily, the way that they have it structured doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily show that they really are the biggest comeback kid. Mm -hmm. It just so happens that maybe they lose, you know, weight at the right time against the right person. Mm -hmm. So... I'm not against Comeback Canyon, per se. Mm -hmm. I think they just need to figure out a different way to make it work. Yeah, I understand. And um, I think I'm going to pull up their name right now. We had another commenter who said, um, Average John, who is also um, great with his feedback. Yeah. He was saying that, you know, we had mentioned on the show how, um, you know, Rob lashes out. And, yeah. <laughs> you know, he, he can sound crazy at times. Tatiana commented, you know, Rob seems psycho yeah. for lashing out. And Average John was saying, you know, um, he was voicing his opinion, his frustration. And he could kind of relate to him and understand why. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, watching today's episode, um, when we were behind uh, the scenes, we were kind of talking about how Dolvet, I believe, was the perfect trainer yes. for Rob. I feel like he was the only one who on the show who could really handle Rob. Really, you know, I, th I think it makes him such a great man. It I does. love it when I see men and women who can... 
you know, be empathetic, sympathetic, but also uh, be firm and be able to push and motivate a client. That's, I think that's the struggle with, you know, being a trainer is, you know, you can't be too pushy because you actually can turn somebody off and you, you can't be too hard and, and you have to still be able to empathize and sympathize with your client. And I think that's yeah. something that Dolvet is great at. And I think that's one of the reasons why they kept him around because I think if Jen was paired with Rob, I don't think she would have been tough enough. Yeah. And Jesse, he's not even in the ballpark. He just, he wouldn't be able to handle Rob. No. Rob, would, Rob would walk all over yeah. And Jesse. I think, yeah, and I think it takes a skill to be able to, you know, someone like Rob who is very emotional, and now we understand, and we do understand why, mm-hmm. but it's that tough, that fine line between not babying them and letting them just like, oh, you know, whatever, poor yeah. Rob, but being able to, what it, what it really is is Dovet knows how to really get in there, and he's not afraid to dig deep with his clients to really uncover why those things are happening, mm-hmm. which is, of course, going to bring emotions. Mm-hmm. But then once those emotions surface, he knows how to kind of wrangle them in, like with this, like, firmness, but... Um, sensitivity at the same time, exactly. which I think is really, really key. And I think they, I mean, Rob is very lucky to have had Dovet um, mm, by his lucky. side mm-hmm. because I think that is a huge, huge reason of why he's still here. Um, also, um, what was I going to say? Um, who was it? Sonia mm-hmm. on the show. Um, you know, we've seen her this episode. She becomes a finalist. And, you know, we don't. I feel like we see her in the show. She got a little emotional, but there's not much substance behind her. And I feel Toma the same way. There's not too much substance behind him. So I think for the three finalists on this show, I feel like Rob has... I'm predicting. This is an early prediction. I I predict Rob's going to take it. I feel like... All that emotion that he has inside of him, he uses it, and we see him. He pulls big numbers. He he gets it out of him, and I feel like that is going to make him the biggest loser winner of it all. I feel like, I mean, Toma could. He pulls big numbers, but I don't think there's enough passion, or he doesn't show it enough. Yeah. Um, and then Sonia, I don't know. I don't. There's nothing. I mean, she could win, but there's nothing that strikes me that she's going to yeah. take take it all home. I don't home. know. I think what I do like about Sonia, and I think we haven't really gotten a chance to see it so much because I think it's just now where people peak differently, and I think she's really starting to um, really see herself differently. And, you know, she keeps saying that, you know, when she goes back home, you know, she doesn't – She's not married. She doesn't have kids. She doesn't have all these oh, so she actually big might. reasons why. She, she actually she might, might do better at home because she doesn't have those distractions. <laughs> well, that's possible. All she knows is working out. That's she don't have to entertain, <laughs> you know, her husband or her children. So it's hey, we actually might have to watch out for her. I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, the thing is, and I think we may maybe not feel as much tug for Sonia specifically as some of the others is because, like, we know that you know, Woody lost his yeah. his wife and Toma with his father and then yeah. Rob, you know, with everything else that's going on. And then Sonia doesn't have that, that story, huge story. Yeah. Okay, that makes but sense. But hers is more of an internal thing, so yeah. I don't think we can see it as much. But I don't know. I wouldn't, I would still be on the lookout for Sonia. You guys out there, She's let us know. She's got that hair going. I know. You guys out there, let us know what you think of her hair. We, we're, <laughs> we're loving it this episode, actually. I do. Actually. love your hair, Sonia. She, it, it goes great with her weight loss. Um, I was saying, you know, she kind of looked like a school teacher or a school secretary before, she's you know, her with sexy the sexy back. Exactly. She's she's getting her groove back being on Biggest Loser. You guys, let us know what you think of her haircut and then let us know what you think if she's you feel she could be the biggest loser um winner or who do you think will it be? Will it be Toma? Will it be Rob? Or will it be Sonia? Who do you think is going to be the biggest at home uh winner for Biggest Loser? Mm. I don't know. I know. There's, That's a tough one. I even tweeted this out. I, I said, think about all that. my favorites are officially none of the finalists. Yeah. You know, I'm first, still Team Scott. First it was Damien. Love me some Damien. Then it was Scott. Scott went home. Then it was Woody. Woody's home. Like, not one person made it to the finals. Yeah. So, um, hopefully one of my favorites will at least win the at-home challenge. Um, The challenge that we saw today was 
probably a challenge that none of the contestants want to have again. You know, it was it was kind of facing your fears and going yeah. backwards in the sense that their challenge was to carry all their weight that they had lost throughout the entire season and carry it through the entire challenge. Um, so they were in the stadium, the stadium where they started at, and for each week um, they had like a number represented in different sections of the stadium, and they had to race to that section and take off whatever weight um, of of weights that they had on them yeah. symbolizing the fat loss or weight that they lost that week so you know rob what it was it, 183 pounds yeah. that he had to carry on him yeah that's a lot of weight it is but or maybe it was 143 yeah. but it, it, it was pretty intense yeah i don't remember the exact numbers but it was very high and i mean but the thing is i love challenges like that and I wish we could see more of those throughout the season. Ones like that connect. symbolic. Yeah, because I mean, Rob even Not said. Not just throwing coconuts over a yeah, like in who, Hawaii. Yeah, like when are you ever going to do that again in life? Exactly. Like you're not, no, it's not going to happen. But you got that connection. And, you know, even after that, um, after that challenge, Rob said, you know what? I, standing up on those stairs, trying to come down with all that weight on his shoulder, just really forced him to reflect on where he was, where he is now, the journey that he's traveled. And he said, you know, right there in that moment, he said, no matter what happens, he said, I've gotten exactly what I needed out of this process. Now, I don't think they would, I don't know how many challenges that we've seen them go through where you are getting that type of response. Mm -hmm. We're throwing coconuts, you know? Yeah. I think they saved the, the best for last. Yeah. Because this definitely was. But I think was... they could do a build up, like give us something, you know? Yeah. That's true. Um, yeah, I wasn't really impressed with the the last uh, challenges that they had. Um, so whoever won this challenge got to have the one pound advantage at the final weigh-in. Now, this is crucial because, yeah, you know, we've seen it on the scale with, um, who was it? Uh, Woody. If he had one pound more, mm -hmm. or was it two pounds? I didn't write any notes this, this episode, guys. Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, that, that could be crucial, you know. He went home because I think he needed to lose five pounds or more, and he lost four. Yeah. So then Sonya beat him out. So now he's not a finalist. So I know, I know Woody is just kicking himself. But at the same time, I know he's proud of himself. He even said it, that he made it this far. Yeah. And I... I mean, he's been through it all. He's really not only physically, but emotionally, mentally, especially losing his wife and promising to her, you know, that he would lose weight for his kids so he yeah. could be around longer. Yeah. I think that alone, you're a winner. Absolutely. I mean, and he said, I mean, he said one of my favorite quotes of the episode. He said, my wife's can'ts are my wants. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like all the things that, you know, that she obviously now is not able to do is his reason for wanting to do yeah. so much. And so it was great even just seeing him with his family, with his kids. kids and, yeah. you know, they're like, you know, working out together at the treadmill, shameless mm -hmm. plug for Planet Fitness, right? all that good stuff. <laughs> um, but no, but it was good to be able to really, you see him like really going after it. And I think you can tell that this is really going to be a lifestyle change yeah. moving forward. And um, they even said after the flashback under like, you know, in text, it said um, Woody and his children now um, run 5Ks for breast cancer because breast cancer was what caused his wife to pass. So yeah. this is awesome. Yeah, I think that's great. I think this show, I know I was talking to Morgan and, you know, we're both personal trainers and we do hosting and we were both saying, you know, being on The Biggest Loser as a trainer, I mean, Allie has a great job. Yeah, I she mean, is. she's a host. She just looks cute and, you know, <laughs> introduce all the challenges. She's doing her thing. But to be one of the trainers on the show would be, like, the ideal job. Like, not yeah. only are you impacting the clients that you are training, but you are making an impact on everybody watching it yeah, at home. Absolutely. So it's, like, the best of both worlds. So, yeah. like... Biggest Losers producers, if you're watching, me and Morgan are available. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also seen in the beginning of this episode, I think her name is Jenny, and she's a reporter from NBC. Yeah. Let me see. Um, I had tweeted out earlier. But uh, she was a guest trainer on the show. And I was thinking, you know, she really got it. I mean, she's seven months pregnant. She's a fitness correspondent for, like, the Today Show, yeah. and she has a guest spot on The Biggest Loser, and 
she's seven months pregnant. Like I said again, like how do you get a spot on the show seven months pregnant? She wanted to show the contestants how to do workouts at home, you know, when you're not in the gym, when you're on the road. Yeah. And I was just like, like, what did, how did you feel about that? No, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I think there's two sides. That I, even with her, you know, being whatever the situation is, I mean, her being able to be there, I think that even just shows so many people stop themselves by their obstacles. Jenna Wolf, whether that's it being, her name. Jenna yeah, Wolf, whether sorry. it being pregnant or this or that or whatever. So I think it's kind of nice to just be able to have somebody on there that's got that even on yeah. there too as well. I think it was a stretch. <laughs> I think it was a real stretch. And I also think it might be... Um, a little like foreshadow of next season. Maybe she might replace one of the trainers because when do we see random people come in and train on The Biggest Loser? That's true. You know, we have Bob, but Bob was a Biggest Loser trainer. We had, um, you know, some of the NFL players, but they... They make sense because they're athletes. But, yeah, they're athletes, and they were either, like, um, they either uh, played football or whatever sport with some of the contestants. So we have this random fitness expert um, yeah. reporter show up and start training. I think... She mm. I, she's definitely not gonna replace Jen. I know that Jen no. is staying. Yeah. I think everybody loved her. Yeah. Um, I think if Dolvet goes, it's because he wants to go. Yeah, I love Dolvet. Yeah, Dolvet. I, I I think he's great, but I think maybe if he goes, it's not because the audience wasn't feeling him. I think Jesse. I think um, she, if she's gonna replace anybody, it'll probably be Jesse. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think of the three. Jesse, he just didn't give me, I don't know. It's yeah. just nice to look at, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he is nice to no, look I at. No, I mean, it's just there was something, some type of spark or some pull that's missing. Mm -hmm. And I think it, it connected even more when they did bring Bob back in because you see what he's able to give. And that's what's missing, I think, from Jesse. Yeah, poor really Jesse. being able to pull that out there, but but you never know. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe maybe it's you know maybe it's the first season jitters. You you feel like you can't really be yourself. Oh, it's time to go. That's our <laughs> that's our our clock. No, but seriously, this was kind of a short episode. We'll go over the um, the final weigh-ins um, for the final weigh-in, and yeah. then um, I guess we'll. We'll come back to you guys next week. We're going to try to go finale. to the finale. Um, we went, I went, uh, not last season, but the season before, and it was amazing. So I'm going to do my best to yep. get at the finale for you guys to report and tweet out and um, do some red, red carpet reporting Absolutely. and interview some of the contestants and trainers. And then, of course, you know, we'll be back here to do the final recap for the finale. But, Morgan, I see that you have those, those final I numbers. I do have the final numbers. So we had Toma, who lost three pounds, which, you know, first coming off, of course, he was the first person on the scale because he did win the challenge and got that one pound advantage. So it, I think it was like he was pretty disappointed coming off and only having lo lose to lose three pounds in the very last um, weigh in before the finale. So, but so, but it's still it, enough to keep him. And then we've got Rob who dropped a whopping thirteen pounds. Rob killed it. Yeah, he two killed weeks it in last a row, week. Yep, and which this is week. huge. So Rob's emotions really pulling him through. We got Woody who lost four pounds and Sonia who came up with six. Yes. Yeah, so Woody had to go home like we kind of stated earlier. Um, I guess we'll go over some more in-depth predictions. Yes. And now you're after Buzz TV. Predictions. Okay, I kind of stated earlier my prediction was Rob is going to take it all because he is so emo. He's going to channel all of his emotions and really channel it in on the scale. The only thing I'm worried about is I don't know if the show is TV time or real time. So mm -hmm. if he had two big wanes in a row and let's say the finale really is this week, then those numbers might not be that big on the scale. True. But I assume that the producers want to see a big finale, a wow, I can't believe, yeah. look at them. So I predict 
that uh, this last episode was filmed a couple months ago, maybe two months ago. Something, you know, where they have a little bit of time to make a significant change and be able to pop up at the finale and yeah. really throw up some big numbers on the scale. So I'm going to go with Rob. That's my final answer. <laughs> What's your final answer, Morgan? Oh, I'm kind of... I'm on the fence here, but I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm actually really going to go for Sonya. I knew you were going to say that. Girl power, I don't know. No, I just really, I think that her story didn't fully, we didn't fully get to really see Sonya until these last couple of episodes. Mm -hmm. And um, there, she has a lot. She has such a deep story that I don't think fully got told or didn't able to really be expressed in this big, huge way like how mm -hmm. Rob is. And, um, but she's a fighter, and she's got a lot, a lot in there. So I'm going for you, Sonia. All right, Team Sonia, Team Rob, let us know what team you're on, and we will see you next week. We love you guys. You guys have been with us for 17 weeks oh. now. Woo! It's been a long run, but it's been a good run. I love this show. I know you guys love this show, too, and I love After Buzz. Yes, so. and thank you guys so much yes, for commenting, you. and we love to hear from you guys, too, and looking forward to the finale next week. Yes, you guys can find me online at fitwithfallon.com. Um, give you all, you know, health and fitness news. And then, of course, tweet me, Instagram me, at Fit with Fallon. Where can they find you, Morgan? Absolutely. And you can find me at Instagram and on Twitter at MS underscore Morgan Martin. All right, you guys. We'll see you next week for the Biggest Losers uh, finale, yeah. the final show. So it'll be good. See you guys next week. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. What is it? Season 16, and next week is the finale. I'm your host. Fallon Mercedes for the official after show on AfterBuzz TV for The Biggest Loser. And I have my beautiful co-host. Yes, Morgan. Martin. I, I'm excited. The music's getting me pumped. Yeah, no, it was good. It was it was good to reflect on the whole season. And wow, did we come so far. We were looking back at all the, you know, they did the flashbacks from the first episode to the audition tapes. Yeah. And wow, like... I know when you lose weight, you kind of forget what you look mm -hmm. like. But wow, those befores till now are amazing. I yeah. cannot wait to see what they're going to look like at the finale, especially for those who are at home <laughs> who are trying to win the biggest um, loser winner at home, which is like, I think, a hundred thousand dollars yeah and crazy i think like what's, and i think what's so cool is about is like i mean especially a lot of people that are on weight loss journeys you know in regular life more or less you of course you know you can look back at pictures and things like that but i mean they really got to really watch their progression of like their training their videos like actually seeing the things that they go through so it was really um I don't know. It was kind of nice just to see them kind of reflect in the the response on their face, really mm -hmm. see, looking back at their old their old selves. Yeah, let's reflect on some of getting hype in here at we After are. Buzz TV. Thank you to Steven who picked this. Uh, Rocky song that is going to get us amped up for this show. <laughs> and, you know, we seen a lot today. You know, this was the end zone because this is the end. This is the last official Biggest Loser episode 17. What is it? Season 16. And next week is the finale. I'm your host, Fallon Mercedes, for the official after show on AfterBuzz TV for The Biggest Loser. And I have my beautiful co-host. Yes, Morgan. Martin. I, I'm excited. The music's getting me pumped. Yeah, no, it was good. It was it was good to reflect on the whole season. And wow, did we come so far. We were looking back at all the, you know, they did the flashbacks from the first episode to the audition tapes. Yeah. And wow, like... I know when you lose weight, you kind of forget what you look mm -hmm. like. But wow, those befores till now are amazing. I yeah. cannot wait to see what they're going to look like at 
the finale, especially for those who are at home <laughs> who are trying to win the biggest um, loser winner at home, which is like I think a hundred thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah, and crazy I think like what's that. and I think what's so cool is about is like I mean, especially a lot of people that are on weight loss journeys, you know, in regular life, more or less. You of course, you know, you can look back at pictures. Oh, with sexy the, bag. Exactly, she's she's getting her groove back being on Biggest Loser. You guys, let us know what you think of her haircut, and then let us know what you think if she's you feel she could be the biggest loser um, winner, or who do you think will it be? Will it be Toma? Will it be Rob? Or will it be Sonia? Who do you think is going to be the biggest at home uh, winner for Biggest Loser? Mm. Mm, I don't know. I know. There's, That's a tough one. I even tweeted this out. I, I said, think about all that. my favorites are officially none of the finalists. Yeah. You know, I'm first, still Team Scott. First it was Damien. Love me some Damien. Then it was Scott. Scott went home. Then it was Woody. Woody's home. Like, not one person made it to the finals. Yeah. So um, hopefully one of my favorites will at least win the at-home challenge. Yeah. Um, the challenge that we saw today was probably a challenge that none of the contestants want to have again. You know, it was it was kind of facing your fears and going yeah. backwards in the sense that their challenge was to carry all their weight that they had lost throughout the entire season and carry it through the entire challenge. Um, so they were in the stadium, the stadium where they started at, and for each week um, they had like a number represented in different sections of the stadium, and they had to race to that section. Mm -hmm. And... Um, there, she has a lot. She has such a deep story that I don't think fully got told or didn't able to really be expressed in this big, huge way like how mm -hmm. Rob is. And um, But she's a fighter, and she's got a lot, a lot in there. So I'm going for you, Sonia. All right, Team Sonia, Team Rob, let us know what team you're on, and we will see you next week. We love you guys. You guys have been with us for 17 weeks oh. now. Woo! It's been a long run, but it's been a good run. I love this show. I know you guys love this show, too, and I love After Buzz. Yes, so. and thank you guys so much yes, for commenting, you. and we love to hear from you guys, too, and looking forward to the finale next week. Yes, you guys can find me online at fitwithfallon.com. Um, give you all, you know, health and fitness news. And then, of course, tweet me, Instagram me, at Fit with Fallon. Where can they find you, Morgan? Absolutely. And you can find me at Instagram and on Twitter at MS underscore Morgan Martin. All right, you guys. We'll see you next week for the Biggest Losers uh, finale, yeah. the final show. So it'll be good. See you guys next week. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. Wife's can'ts are my wants. So it's almost like all the things that, you know, that she obviously now is not able to do is his reason for wanting to do yeah. so much. And so it was great even just seeing him with his family, with his kids. kids and, yeah. you know, they're like, you know, working out together at the treadmill. Shameless mm -hmm. plug for Planet Fitness. Right? All that good stuff. <laughs> um, but no, but it was good to be able to really, you see him like really going after it. And I think you can tell that this is really going to be a lifestyle change yeah. moving forward. And um, they even said after the flashback under, like, you know, in text, it said um, Woody and his children now um, run 5Ks for breast cancer because breast cancer was what caused his wife to pass. So, yeah, which is awesome. Yeah, I think that's great. I think this show, I know I was talking to Morgan, and, you know, we're both personal trainers, and we do hosting, and we were both saying, you know, being on The Biggest Loser as a trainer, I mean, Allie has a great job. Yeah, I she mean, is. she's a host. She just looks cute and, you know, <laughs> introduce all the challenges. She's doing her thing. But to be one of the trainers on the show would be, like, the ideal job. Like, not only are you impacting the clients that you are training but you are making an impact on everybody watching it yeah, at home. Absolutely. So it's like the best of both worlds. So yeah. like, 
Biggest Losers producers, if you're watching, me and Morgan are available. It's, a, it's hey, we actually might have to watch out for her. I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, the thing is, and I think we may maybe not feel as much tug for Sonya specifically as some of the others, is because like we know that you know Woody lost his yeah. his wife and Toma with his father, and then yeah. Rob, you know, with everything else that's going on, and then. Sonya doesn't have that, that story, huge story. Yeah. Okay, that makes but sense. But hers is more of an internal thing, so yeah. I don't think we can see it as much. But I don't know. I wouldn't. I would still be on the lookout for Sonya. You guys out there, She's let us know. She's got that hair going. I know. You guys out there, let us know what you think of her hair. We, we're, <laughs> we're loving it this episode, actually. I do. Actually. I love your hair, Sonya. She, it, it goes great with her weight loss. Um, I was saying, you know, she kind of looked like a school teacher or a school secretary before, she's you know, her with sexy the, back. Exactly. She's she's getting her groove back being on Biggest Loser. You guys, let us know what you think of her haircut and then let us know what you think if she's you feel she could be the biggest loser um winner. Or who do you think will it be? Will it be Toma? Will it be Rob? Or will it be Sonya? Who do you think is gonna be the biggest at home uh winner for Biggest Loser? Mm. I don't know. I know. There's, That's a tough one. I even tweeted this out. I, I said, think about all that. my favorites are officially none of the finalists. Yeah. You know, I'm first, still Team Scott. First it was Damien. Love me some Damien. Then it was Scott. Scott went home. Then it was Woody. Woody's home. Like, not 